Did you see Strickland's response to Ian Gary? I did not. Where is Strickland's response to Ian Gary and where can I see it? I saw Ian Gary laughing and like about the uh, striking in round five, which I kind of understand because it did look sloppy, but dude don't know what a war is because his chin won't allow him to get into one. Thank you for the $2. Adesanya definitely back training this week. He said he'd be back training in March. I heard Chael say that, but it was Chael. Um, Strickland said on to the next. Yes, Strickland, right back in there, dude. Right back in there. Dude, this is so dumb. You won the fight. They're just showing strike numbers. That he landed two more in round three and four more in round four. These people don't know what they're fucking scoring, dude. Jesus Christ. So annoying, man. So according to these stats, these people are saying that Strickland won round four. I hate Strickland fans. I'm doing a whole video tomorrow. Forget it, dude. I'm doing a whole fucking video. So where's this head clash from uh, DDP? Dude, that is not a fucking head clash in any way that's bad at all. That is barely a head clash, man. That is some baby shit. That really is baby shit. I'm sick of these guys. I wonder if he landed that elbow. It looked like he could have glanced him just under the arm of it. Got caught up with the arm of Strickland, but he could have glanced him just underneath it. But the right hand is what opened up the cut and what made Strickland start pouring at his eye. It's been disproved. We all know I won. The only reason why it wasn't one sided for five rounds is the headbutt took my eye. It happened in round four, it wasn't one sided in round two or three. If you still, if you think the headbutt happened, I, I'm, doing, I'm doing a whole fucking video then. Jesus Christ. That weasel. Wow. Okay. I mean, I guess mine's that boy MMA guru, but why wouldn't it come up? Um, Strickland did get headbutted, but it didn't create the cut on his eye. The headbutt made the cut worse, though. I don't know if it did. Um, the overhand caused the cut before the headbutt happened. There you go. It's not got much traction because they're not going to like it, but it's right. Plenty of people obviously never wrestled here. If someone rises up like that and the crown of the head skims off the inside of the brow, it's going to cut you open. But the cut was caused by the punch because before the even clinch uh, attack happened, the cut was there after the punch. So I don't know why these guys are still fucking coping. It's literally the babiest clash of heads ever seen. Ever. Jesus Christ. Volk, yeah, yeah, way worse, but guess what? It's a fire. I know, right? Volk literally fucking wobbled, yeah, yeah, with a fucking head clash. No one was fucking talking shit then. Crazy, right? Wow, dude. I guess that just didn't fucking happen. He literally wobbled, yeah, yeah, and then fucking wobbled him again with the very next fucking punch he landed. But oh well. <laughs> Dude, that Strickland one changed the fucking fight, dude. He was blind after that. These fucking Strickland fans. Pussies. Fucking pussies, dude. Volk, yeah, yeah, way worse. Yeah, thank you for that big donut. Can dude, these Strickland fans are dumb as fuck. I'm actually making a video on them. They're the most retarded fans in the sport. I don't care. Some of the shit, they're, they're just not understanding the fucking reality of anything. They're retarded people. It's all they are. They are fucking meathead retards. I'm making a video tomorrow. I don't give a fuck anymore. You're not a Strickland fan. I am a Strickland fan. You know I'm a Strickland fan. You're just a fucking right-wing fucking conservative fucking retard that don't even like the sport. You just like fucking right-wing shit. And there's a large portion of my chat that is like that. And trust me, I'm leaning that way as well. But it's just like, you guys are just fucking meathead retards just as dumb as the left. And you don't even fucking realize it half the time. Fucking soy boys, dude. Wow, imagine Strickland fans complaining about that head thing in the clinch. Wow, dude. And I'm being called a glazer. Drickus went from a double leg to glancing his cheek with the cheek of uh, of Strickland in the clinch. And, the, and everyone's like, well, that changes everything. That shit happens every fucking time fighters enter the clinch. Their heads clash. Tiny amounts. 
It's crazy how these Strickland fans are. You are the Glazers, whether you like it or not. You literally are. Whereas with, with the same the same people before Strickland came out and they knew all this baseness about him would be saying, what a pussy backing up as a champion for five rounds with nothing but a jab. How do you expect to defend your fucking belt like that? If, if they didn't know Strickland was based and start loving him because of his interviews, these casuals would literally be saying that about his fights. They'd be saying, uh, why the fuck are you backing up the whole fucking time with a fucking, well, oh, really? You think you can win a championship fight just with jabs backing up? Dude, throw a right fucking hand. That's literally what they were saying about Strickland up until he beat Adesanya or up until he beat Abbas Magomedov. People were literally in the comments of IG saying shit like, another fucking Strickland main event, really, after that Hermanson fight? Wow, dude, can't wait for this guy to do all this talking just to sit there and jab. These are the same casuals, but now they like him, they completely change the way they perceive him as a fighter. I've always liked Strickland, regardless, and I've always liked his style. But, you know, these new wave guys are a bit different. On Volk Yair, you noted how it was good that Yair was able to cover and come back looking sharp after the headbutt because otherwise people would blame the finish on the foul. Then on X, you do exactly that to support the DDP decision. On Volk Yair, you noticed how it was good that Yair was able to recover and come back looking sharp after the head headbutt. No, did he did not look sharp after the headbutt, dude. Yair's got a great chin, and it's not like Volk has punch power. When he came back from the headbutt, he got caught on the chin and wobbled. Immediately, the very next exchange, he got wobbled. Looking back, it's true. It's true. You don't realize it in the moment, but it is true. That is way more of a factor in the fight than it was in Strickland versus Duplessis. You ain't got me on shit. Way more of a factor. He literally caught him and wobbled him backwards. And then they stopped. Okay, let's resume. And in the very next shot, he got clipped and it wobbled him. That is way more of a evidence to suggest that a fight was more impacted by that than it was in Strickland Duplessis. Thank you for the $20. There's literal footage of Drickus landing a punch that cuts open Strickland's eye. And it was not a head clash the way that Volk was. Simple as that. <laughs> I can't believe you guys are dying on this. You are Strickland Glazers and you're sad as fuck. I can't believe you're dying on that hill. I can find multiple per card of that head clash in every fight. He was in the clinch and he got head position, pushing Strickland's head up against the cage. He did not ram his head into Strickland or dive in from a distance and clash heads. He went from a double up to the clinch and got head position on Strickland. That happens multiple times every card. Yeah, I need to stop talking about this shit because it's just dumb and they're baiting me. I can't believe people are willing, Strickland fans of all people, I thought they were the most based Chad fans in the entire sport. Turns out they're just a bunch of fucking pussy victims, dude. It's sad. You know what I mean? Thank you for the $5. Personally, I think Volk won by landing a perfect hook directly on the chin while Yair was literally on one leg, not the headbutt he was given time for. I'm not saying that's entirely the reason. This is what you're not getting. I'm saying it's way more of a reason to be up in arms about a result of a fight than that was with DDP versus Strickland. People are acting like this changed the entire result and because of it, there should be a rematch. There should be a rematch. This is why I'm annoyed because you're not listening to the full fucking argument. I know the video's out. Shut up. That is more of a reason to be up in arms about a fight result. Way more of a reason to be up in arms. I'm not even saying that Volk versus Yair was, you know what I mean? This is what, that's what I'm saying. There's multiple reasons. He caught Yair perfect. But this is the problem. No one's going to hear the full argument. I can't tweet a full fucking paragraph. <laughs> All right, go in there. You want me to fucking terminate your channel, do you? <laughs> I'm joking. Don't fucking ever go against me in this chat, yeah? You fucking lose or everything. I'm going to fucking end your clipping days for good, yeah? 